yourself And when you open your mouth You always seem to put your foot there two and a half weeks ago, and this was a fried out Tom Thumb page. It had crap on the floor and holes in the floor, and half of things were missing. There was wires sticking out all over the place. There was a water pipe busted off behind that wall right over there. Everybody looked at it and went, oh man, what are we gonna do? How are we gonna do this? Here it is, we did it, look at it. I can't yeah. believe it. It's amazing, it's a wonderful. Great. These craftsmen have gone so far overboard with their booze and their merchandise. And it's just really wonderful. I get so high being in these places. You know, uh, uh, Bruce decided uh, he wanted the old crew back as much as possible for the, the Six Bazaar, so uh, here I am again. <laughs> what does Christmas mean to you? Um, sell, sell stuff. <laughs> That's the way it uh, works out to be. It seems like every Christmas, every Christmas I say to myself, gee, I hate the commercialization. Uh, but this Christmas is, has, more than anything, I've just seen friends I haven't really uh, been together with for the last year. 
So it's, uh, it's it was like last night, old home week, uh, everybody coming in again. So it's been a lot. A lot nicer Christmas for that way, you know. We we hope to do well in business and keep Armadillo Productions going too, of course. But uh, it's been nice seeing everybody. Did this have to take a priority over something else you did? Well, like I said, for for me, I'm just working with Just Buckles and it hadn't uh, uh, hadn't been working a whole lot there lately. Can I get the phone? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Already get some of the maintenance and stuff. Yeah. We just start working for the, the Christmas bazaar this year. This year? Yeah. Oh, well, I've worked at every one. We started them six years ago. This year we all came in and worked on the decorations and now we're doing the shoes. You glad to? Oh yeah. Gonna have to uh, take any time off from a regular job? Um, I lost my job before I started this. Even though my boss was gonna give me um, a month off to do the bazaar, I got laid off. And so I'm doing this for the first of the year and then I'm a free agent again. It's what we got. We came in here and it looked real bad. It was a grocery store. And we cleaned it up. A lot of people, they you know, worked on different things. And, and we did the decorations and just tried to cover the walls so that it would take away from the uh, you know, fact that it was a grocery store. And you know, we'd like to have painted it and all, but there's a lot of money we'd had to leave here and paint. So we just tried to plaster it. I figure it's all cardboard for the most part. And uh, it's pretty simple, basically. You know, it's just some silkscreen prints that, you know, are a third of Midland. And some stars are all made out of cardboard. It took a lot of work, a lot of people working. You know, it's cutting out stars, boring as hell. Yeah. But uh, we figured we'd just, if we could impress him, we would do it with multitudes, you know. Or we would have had more, actually, if we'd had more time. Yeah, they're close to 1,700 stars. I don't know. I, we looked at it in piles, and I figured perhaps there's about 2,000, but it's hard to tell, you know. Have you been associated with the Armadillo Christmas Bazaar for a long time? Well, I've only been here in Texas for about three years, um, and I helped a little bit three years ago. I just kind of did a few things late at night and put them up the next day. And then next year, uh, my girlfriend Jackie and I... Uh, pretty much did the same things we've done this year, you know, we kind of tried to coordinate things. Last year we built the sled and, this, and this, all the reindeer, which was about 30 feet long, so it was a pretty big piece. Um, this year we decided not, because that took a lot of time, and we decided, that, since we had more area to cover, but not nearly all the, the stuff that was in the armadillo, which was pretty nice, you know, all the paintings on the wall and everywhere. Uh, we actually put it decorative, that we had really more work to do this year with a larger area and real bland looking, you know. And so we really pretty much went for the stars as much as possible, only a few three-dimensional pieces. And